So I was not going to do this video, then I was going to do this video, then I was not going to do this video, and I've decided I'm going to do the video. So let's get straight into the first clip. AP and David Wood don't care all that much about the victims of terrorism or war. So, uh, Apostic Prophet and David Wood, both guys who have been on my channel, um, you know, I can't say enough nice things about them. David Wood has done a lot for me personally. Uh, he's helped me out in many ways, too many ways than I can mention. Very, very kind individual. Now, I did this video because I wanted to address things like this, and you might say, hey, that's a four second clip. What if he said more? Please, I encourage you to go and watch the video on his channel and then to see what all he said. But the context of this is pretty bad. He's just outright saying that, hey, they don't care about the children. And I wanna tell you right now, that's downright false. I also think that making those kind of inflammatory statements online in a public video is dangerous. And so I recommend that he not do that. Now, I am a free speech, sorry, as free speech encourager I, I love free speech now i do think that like there are consequences to the free speech that you say meaning people might not watch your videos people might uh, get upset with you so in that case there is like a way that as a society we socially check one another but i'm just saying don't say that again next clip they use them to make a point Otherwise, why would he make such a silly and slanderous thumbnail when they're supposed to talk about 300 kidnapped children? Will somebody please think of the children? Not these two, somebody else. Will somebody please think of the children? I, th I think that people do think of the children. I don't think anybody likes the fact that all these civilians are, you know, being gone now. That, you know, once you die, there is no coming back. It's just... You face God. Um, the plain and simple truth is that while well, David Wood and them do have a bit of comedy within the style of their videos, they address real world issues. And these issues are not being addressed by everybody. And David Wood and Apostate Prophet have a way of addressing these things in a manner that connects to the average viewer. Also in the aftermath where a lot of ex-Muslim YouTubers giving commentary about the so-called drama, I received a massive influx of vitriolic messages from his supporters. I was called an Abdul more times than I can count, a secret Muslim, a terrorist supporter, a race loyalist, a towel head, a goat fucker, etc. Once a Muslim, always a Muslim. All of those are things that AP and David either explicitly said or alluded to or allowed to be said in their live streams. When AP calls terrorists goat fuckers because they're fair game, and then considers me fair game and depicts me as a terrorist, I think it's not hard to make the connection. Go watch any of his live streams and check out his tweets. The dog whistling is obvious. There's absolutely no way that AP and David Wood are oblivious to the racist and bigoted rhetoric they encourage and allow. Go watch any of his live streams and check out his tweets. The dog whistling is obvious. There's absolutely no way that AP and David Wood are oblivious to the racist and bigoted rhetoric they encourage and allow. So, do I always agree with the things that David Wood and AP say? The plain and simple answer is no. Do they always agree with me or other Christian apologists? The plain and simple thing is no. Uh, when it comes to this, when you're covering sensitive issues, but you're also trying to set an entertaining approach, um, a way to keep viewers engaged with the information, sometimes jokes and different things can come off as not too sensitive. Now, it's a difficult line to walk, but you just have to know the character of the people who you're watching and who you're supporting. And I support David Wood and Apostate Prophet. The other thing too is, I don't believe anybody should be calling you those names. And don't get me wrong, I've gotten some heat before in the past for being what people might say too sympathetic to Muslims. But you know, my sympathy towards Muslims goes towards average everyday Muslims because those are the Muslims who are kind to me, those are the Muslims who treat me well. Generally, it's online where I come into a lot more of the criticism that's negative or would be threats to me or my family. Uh, so. Yes, I'm sympathetic at times, but other times I'm more critical. 
but each person has their role to play within this scope of the conversations between Christianity and Islam or atheism and Islam. It's just, we need to learn to, uh, if we're going to be critical of others, to be more constructive with our criticism. Because just to be honest, my friend, your videos were not very constructive. Also too, I'm generally encouraged by people who go to speak to people one-on-one -on -one who know them. Now you, on the other hand, I don't know personally, so I'm hoping that you watch this video, you take a little bit of it to heart, and you say, okay, you know, maybe I should consider, like, some of the responses and things that I make going forward. And they're just as responsible for it as their minions. After they supposedly cooked me on their streams, I received more hate and slurs in a few weeks than I had received from Muslims over multiple years. But to their credit, at least there were no death threats. But there were a lot of comments hoping that the Muslims get to me. So, death threats by proxy? So, uh, once again, I am sorry that you got those kind of threats. I don't think that you should be getting, like, hey, we wish such and such. That's just something that should not be done. But I just want to give you, like, a cold truth and some hard reality. Coming from uh, me, who also has two small YouTube channels. One around 10K, the other one with 13K. I have not done steady live videos on the channels in a while, so I don't have a whole lot of live viewers. My viewers are mainly tied to YouTube Shorts. So it could be possible that the reason why you did not get that level of scale of hate as you did before is because no one was watching your videos. And the same way that currently I don't get that much hate but then again, I don't have, have like long content videos that a ton of people are watching right now. I don't put out long content that much. Although I plan on changing that because I do think I have something to contribute. I also think that you have something to contribute. I think that, you know, somebody who was a Muslim and left Islam and wants to like engage in those conversations, uh, politely reach a hand across the aisle, uh, engage with the other like-minded individuals, I think you can serve a purpose in these conversations. My only thought and concern is that when you start like pointing at others and you start being so critical of people who are, you know, supporters of you, like I was checking out AP's channel and he's got a link to your channel. At least he did as of a few weeks ago when I checked. Uh, the thing is, is that we're not always going to see eye to eye. We're not always going to like presentations. Someone's not going to like my presentation. I'm not going to like their presentation. Maybe we're not going to like each other's brand of humor. But I think, though, that we do have um, a need to stand up for one another, even if, like, we disagree on some things. So you are an atheist. I am a Christian. Now, normally, we would not be doing things video-wise together. But I do look at the things that AP and David Wood does together and think, hey, how nice is it that a, an atheist and a Christian can do this kind of show together, disagreeing on some of the things that they disagree on? Now, I look forward to someday soon when we all can produce content online and we can do videos that, you know, everybody wants to see. But to be honest, not everybody wants to see every video. There's way too much content. And, you know, you need to have a hook. And in the particular case of David Wood, an apostate prophet, not only are they really nice guys, but they're funny and they're informative. And so naturally people are going to go watch funny and informative people. I know that often you hear the term punch up, and I know you were punching up, but maybe in particular cases it's better not to punch at all. Especially when those people are going to be champions of you are going to encourage you to continue doing what you're doing as a smaller channel. Now don't get me wrong, if there's a legit criticism, I think you probably can do something. But in this particular case, I don't think your criticism was valuable or good. And I know that sounds a bit harsh. But once again, I think you can contribute. I think you should continue to contribute. And until next time, anyone else watching, please like, subscribe. I plan on doing a few more videos on this channel. Mainly this channel will focus on religion and Islam. My other one will focus on politics, 
hosting debates and interviews. Thank you again for watching and good night everyone.